Hey Genshin Impact players, Jiren 2.0 is back with Genshin Impact. Alright, this time I'm gonna go with the last ending. Uh, what would. Ugh. Anyway, I'll just show ya. Ah! The Hilly Trolls are coming back! Let's see if the Baron Bunny gets their attention! What's going on? They're completely ignoring the Baron Bunny! Coming this way! Watch out! Someone needs to <laughs> Got the new achievements! You can't run! nor exploded in the end all I managed to recreate was the outward appearance I suppose the conclusion is I can't become an outrider like Amber oh maybe I'm not yet ready to carry out the work of a fully qualified knight but I just can't think of what else I could do every time I've looked forward to passing the exam I always ended up disappointed in the end whenever I remember that feeling of disappointment I stopped being able to think about what kind of knight I could become. You could be like Jean and acting Grandmaster. Master Jean? How could I ever become someone great like her? Master Jean is a pillar of the Knights of Favonius and a great source of inspiration to me. If I could gain even one or two of her qualities, I would be very happy. But the thought of becoming a knight just like her in every way? Oh, I could never achieve that. Just set a goal for us. We'll start smaller details. You think so? I suppose if the goal is set so high that I couldn't hope to achieve it immediately, I won't be too disappointed day to day. But where to start? I can't imagine what I would need to do to become more like Master Jean. Jean often helps out the locals around town. Oh, that's true. Master Jean is always lending a hand to citizens in need. So strong, but so gentle too. I still don't think I can do what Master Jean does, but at least I could start by trying to be gentle like her. Okay, then let's head back to Mondstadt and see if anyone needs help. Let's so heading back to Mondstadt. You'll be alright, and all we gotta do is hang around and wait for find someone to help out. Hey, Marjorie and Beatrice. And what's up with them? Sorry, Marjorie. I was focused solely on chatting with Quinn. I didn't see anything else at all. If you're out of other options, maybe you could get help from the Knights? I'm sure if Master Jean heard about it, she'd help you find it in no time. Thanks. I'll check with a few more people first. If no one has seen it, then I guess I'll just have to ask the Knights. Alright, well, I hope it turns up soon. Bye now. <sighs> Maybe I should just tell the knights already. Miss Marjorie, are you in need of assistance? Oh, Noel. Since you asked, I seem to have misplaced a monocle that I imported from Sumeru. A monocle? Uh, um, I hope it's not the one that Venti let me borrow. I was organizing the stock that had just arrived, and because the monocle was so fragile, I took it out, wiped it, and put it aside. But then, I went to get it after I was done with the stock, and it was gone. I've asked around, but no one seems to have any idea where it could be. Has anything like this happened before? 
anything like this? Well, it's not completely unheard of. You know my store. There are all sorts of exotic items. In the past, I've lost a carved wooden perch and some boneware. But as soon as I reported them missing to the knights, they were recovered right away. May I ask, where were the missing items recovered from? Oh, the wooden perch was mistaken for a real fish by Margaret's cat. And as for the boneware, they eventually found that in a dog kennel somewhere outside the city. Reminds me of some commissions once involving a missing cat and some tax returns. Oh no, we mustn't increase Jean's workload any further. Master Jean's time should be spent on more important things. Miss Marjorie, would you mind letting me help you find the missing monocle? I may not be as efficient as Master Jean, but I will do my very best to help you find it. Count me in. Oh, of course that's okay. But isn't asking Noel the same thing as asking the knights? Ah. Uh, I'd better gather some more information before heading out. As well as confirming some details regarding the monocle itself, we should find out as much as possible from Marjorie about the circumstances under which it went missing. So, do you have some ideas on where to start? Ask me whatever you want to know. I'll answer to the best of my memory. What well, can you tell us about the missing item? Uh... A missing item? Well, it's a monocle to start with. And since it came from Sumeru, the design should be fairly recognizable. As for other distinguishing features, it's very light and it's very small. Did you see anything out of the ordinary? I had my head down and I was busy working through the stock. I didn't see anything that was going on around me. But the street is so busy that surely someone would have noticed if it had been stolen. Did you hear anything? Oh! Now that you mention it, I do remember hearing some kind of flapping sound. Did a bird steal it? The sound went as soon as it came, and I was focused on checking if anyone had seen anything, so I didn't give it too much thought at the time. Do you think it could be connected? Maybe we should investigate in the direction in which the noise went. Hmm. I first heard it behind me, and then it seemed to fade out in a northwesterly direction. Now I wish I'd followed the sound and spoken to people along the way. Honorary Knight, shall we go ahead in that direction and make some inquiries? Maybe we'll find some clues. Flapping sound? Sorry, I wasn't on patrol nearby at the time of the incident. But if you need any backup, please send for me at any time. Excuse me, Glory. Have you heard anything that might be described as a flapping sound in this area recently? Marjorie's monocle has gone missing from her shop. We're trying to look for clues. Um. Flapping sound? Yes, I think so. I believe it was the sound of a finch flapping its wings. It sounded a lot heavier today than usual. As if it was carrying something. So, maybe the finch took the monocle back to its nest. Well, I've seen their nests in the past on occasion, while I'm cleaning the roof. What do you say we have a look, Traveler? Finally, we have a lead to go on. Thank you, Glory. You're welcome. May you swiftly recover the lost item by the grace of the Animo Archon. Three rooftops. Okay, let's check them out.
Marjorie's missing monocle. Let's take it back to her right away. I hope we haven't kept her waiting too long. Wow, that was really easy. And that was just the first nest. <laughs> Miss Marjorie? Here. We found your monocle. Wow, you were so quick. How wonderful. I thought I wouldn't be hearing back for a few days yet. A few days? That long? Sure. In the past when I've lost something and asked the knights for help, it can take them a while to get around to it. After all, the knights have all sorts of things that they're busy with, big and small. No matter how capable Jean might be, she can't be in two places at once, can she? Thanks to you, Noelle, we don't have to trouble the knights with every little thing that comes up. <laughs> now that I think about it, Noelle is basically like another Jean. In that sense, it really does feel like Jean can be in two places at once. No, surely you can't be serious. How can I compare to Master Jean? I can only help people with small things. Like finding lost property. <laughs> Whether it's big or small, it's all the same to us. Things we can't handle by ourselves. Noelle, once you've qualified as an official knight, will that mean you don't have time to help us anymore? I, for one, am going to miss you. No, not at all. If I do become a knight in the future, I will continue to help everyone with their problems. <laughs> I was just kidding. Keep up the good work, Noelle. I'm sure everyone in Mondstadt can't wait to see the kind of knight you become. I... I will keep working hard. Thanks again. <sighs> I suppose I should put this in a secure place this time. The kind of knight that I become. Noelle, uh, you seem quite pleased. Oh, do, do I? Um, yes. Maybe it's because I'm not afraid anymore. I've never dared to imagine myself as a knight before. I always feared that the higher my expectations, the more disappointed I'll be if I don't live up to them. But let's say I do become a knight in the future. Maybe, maybe I will simply continue to do the same things that I'm doing right now. It doesn't matter to me how small these things are or how tiring. I do these things not because I'm a maid, but because of my own will. Noelle, just be the kind of knight that you want to be, yeah? Yes, there's no need to become someone else, nor worry about failing. As long as I perform better in my next exam than in my previous one, then one day, I will become a knight that I can be proud of. <laughs> all right, that's all for Noel. Thanks for watching, everyone. Please like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see y'all later in the next vid. <laughs> Thanks again for your support and love. Peace out.